Hi families, my name is Mrs. Willis and I am your student science teacher for the year here at HTPA. So let's go ahead and get started learning about some basics of the science courses here at our school. As you can see, I teach three different courses here at HTPA. So I teach AP Environmental Science, that's my period four class, AP Biology is period one, and then my Honors Biology class is during periods three, five, and six. Now, each of these classes does fulfill high school graduation requirements, um, as well as college entrance requirements. So the Honors Bio does fulfill your life science requirement for graduation. AP Environmental is unique. It fulfills physical science. And then AP Bio is also a life science requirement. So all three are aligned to our high school and state standards. Um, for the biology and AP environmental science courses, we follow the next generation science standards. Here's a little information about myself. Um, I did go to UC Santa Barbara to earn my bachelor's degree in environmental studies. And then after that, I was like, I want to become a teacher. So I went to CSUN and I received a biological sciences teaching credential. And after I'll say five more years, I went ahead and earned my master's degree at Dominguez Hills in environmental science. I currently do teach there on Tuesday nights, Dominguez Hills, and the course I teach is Bio 103. Some other good information about myself, as your student will probably tell you, I am a huge soccer fan, so um, I do often talk to students about that. I have twin girls and they keep me quite busy. They just entered the ninth grade, so we are officially into the high school mode. Um, so. That is definitely overwhelming. And then this is my 21st year teaching um, in LAUSD. The first 15 years, I was at a different school called Downtown Magnets High School, but Miss Murata wrangled me over here to HTPA, and I've been here ever since. So this is my sixth year here at HTPA, and I love it. As you may know, at the end of the year, there are always tests. So if you're an AP Bio, um, there is an end of year test and when passed, you will earn college credit. And that's the same for AP Environmental Science. Those tests, you can see the dates there on the screen. AP Bio's test is gonna be Wednesday, May 11th. And for AP Environmental, the test is Tuesday, May 3rd. If you are in Honors Bio, there's always the end of the year science test that will revolve around NGSS standards. That date has not been determined yet, but it's usually somewhere around April, May in 2022. In all of my science classes, um, we look at and we practice the NGSS standards, which are the next generation science standards. So of course there's going to be different content standards in each of the fields. However, the science and engineering practices are all the same throughout all courses. So we're always asking questions. We run investigations, we develop and use models and we look at data and analyze it. That also happens with the cross-cutting concepts. So some of the same things you will see over and over in these science classes. So things like patterns and cause and effects, stability and change, those all pop up in our classes. My ultimate objective in all science classes is to get your student to start looking at things through a scientific lens. Can they explore the world? Can they learn about it? Can they think critically about the information and life that's around them? Um, can they make claims and back them up with evidence that they researched or that they actually investigated? Um, if they can do that at the end of the class, I think I have reached my objective. All right, so let's talk about homework. So in my AP classes, how it usually works is an assignment is given the first day of the week that I see them, and it will be due the following week, the first day that I see them. So they usually have about seven days to complete an assignment. All assignments can be found on Schoology in the Classwork Materials folder. 
In the honors bio, you may be noticing that your student is reading. That is our homework, a way to infuse scientific literacy into the classroom. They are currently reading The Hot Zone. So every week they read a couple more chapters and fill in this summary template and submit it to Schoology. You can find the calendar also in the Schoology classwork materials. And on to the grading. So you may have already noticed that most of my assignments in this class are out of two points or five points. And both of these rubrics can be found in the class syllabus that I believe most of you probably already signed. Um, they vary based upon the amount of content that's covered in the assignment. And I'm really trying to focus on mastery of the content this year and really starting to embrace more of the mastery grading learning concept. So it's a work in progress. Um, I do advise that if you ever have any questions about why your student earned the grade they did, have them go to their assignment, look at the comments and the feedback that is left either in writing on the assignment or if it was a digital submission I always put feedback in either comment bubbles or comments on the side of the document so it should be really clear as to why they earned the grade that they did if they are ever in doubt please encourage them to take charge of their learning and to come talk to me about it and I usually can um, clear things up with them as far as attendance goes, I know this year is crazy. We have COVID and we totally understand that people may be absent. You will find, I think this is with most teachers here at HTPA, all of our materials can be found on Schoology. So it's really important parents that you register for the parent portal so you can have access to Schoology and see what your student is doing. All of my assignments are always posted on Schoology and you can always find the documents on Schoology in their classwork materials. And lastly, we did um, like kind of partner up and have absent buddies. So your student should have two absent buddies in the class. So in case anything happens, they can reach out to them to find out what they missed. I really do strive for students to submit work in a timely fashion. So with that, I do have a no late work policy. However, I know issues arise. So I always encourage the students just to come talk to me if something happens where they can't turn their work in on time. We also emphasize academic honesty in my class and completing assignments to the best of their ability, not someone else's. And some of those consequences of getting caught, um, zeros on the assignments for both parties if there were two parties involved. I also want to let you and your student know that tutoring is available. I'm always here to help. I'm usually here before school. I can tutor during lunch or nutrition, um, but really the student needs to reach out if they are struggling. So we can make arrangements. I have a period two conference, but again, the student needs to reach out. Lastly, if any of you have any disinfecting wipes, tissue, paper towels, hand soap, anything lying around at your house that you don't necessarily need to use, we can always use them here in the science classroom. Um, the kids have been using a lot of wipes, cleaning their desks, which is very good um, during this pandemic. So feel free to send them with your student if you would like to donate to the classroom. And if you ever would like to communicate with me, here is my email address. You can also email me directly through the school website. Um, if you have general questions, you wanna check up on your students, see what kind of content we're covering, really anything goes. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for staying here in this presentation and have a great night.